an ever-changing and complex world full of significant and substantial challenges needs the greatest of minds to solve them. Here at Durham University, our researchers come together to combine expertise, spark new ideas, and make an impact on the world today. Research at Durham is changing the way parents understand nighttime infant care. Over the last 22 years, we have investigated what parents do with their babies at night. So we've looked at infant sleep safety, particularly bed sharing safety and the information that parents need to have, how health professionals talk to them about it. And as we've come closer to the present day, we've got more interested in how parents understand what normality is for baby sleep. It's scary looking mm. after a newborn baby. They're so vulnerable, so it's really helpful to have, yeah, information that you can trust. I think it made me sleep better, <laughs> <laughs> so simply. For me, the excitement is about doing something that has real-world applications that people can use. I am a consumer psychologist, and my research is in consumer behavior to profile consumer and then we come up with different consumer psychological factors and then company can develop their marketing strategy. Another area would be how the technology can influence consumer behavior, in particular uh, nowadays big data and the internet of things like that. I work with several organizations like uh, Procter Gamble and IBM. We're looking at how they can uh, provide better services, better information, uh, change their work practice, and also uh, make a profit in their field. I have a passion to transfer my research uh, into the real practice world and make a real contribution so it's a, a business relevant. Durham has a really high quality conservation group and we work across a whole range of study areas. What we're doing is at the forefront of species distribution modelling and predictive modelling of the impacts of climate change on biodiversity. We can provide answers or potential scenarios to conservation organisations that they can then use in their adaptation and mitigation strategies to, to maximise their impact for protecting species. An example of where our research had impact is working with the RSPB and in that case we were looking at the impacts of a European conservation policy. The work we did there was really crucial in actually ensuring that that policy directive stayed in place, stayed unchanged and actually continued the protection of birds across Europe. We're making a difference because we interact with a lot of conservation organisations so we're not doing ivory towers, pure research, we're actually producing outputs that work in the real world. I hear voices pretty much all of the time. I lost a number of years of my life spending time in mental health units. I went to a peer support group for people that hear voices and found that other people hear voices too. They had lives and I could have a life too. Hearing the Voice is a large interdisciplinary research project. We're funded by the Wellcome Trust to investigate the experience of hearing a voice in the absence of any obvious external stimulus. The team has included people from 12 different disciplines who are bringing expertise from all their own disciplines, taking our research in new directions, making us think about things differently. One of the things that we've been really privileged to do in hearing the voice is to create all sorts of different opportunities for listening to people's experiences. We had to have people like Ray helping us to work out what sorts of questions we should be asking. It's really to bring us together and to have conversations. It's found a way of bridging the gap between academia and direct lived experience and clinical experience as well. We want to have an even wider reach and that was the 
motivation behind creating our website, understandingvoices.com. It's about making the research coping strategies and some of the resources that voice hearers have produced as accessible as we possibly can to the world. Durham University has done something quite special. So much can be learnt from the experience of hearing the voice. It's grown so much that it gives me a lot of hope for the future. Research at Durham is exciting. We're interested in things that affect us all. We want to have an even wider reach. Producing outputs that work in the real world. You make a real contribution. That's what motivates me, is that I can see that we're making changes and I can see that people are benefiting from it.